Introduction to the ArcGeo loggers. This is the ArcGeo Mini. It comes in a waterproof case shown and it holds one grid at a time. The user can set up a grid, walk out the uh, pattern, dump it to the computer and see his plot on his computer of all targets within the grid. You can attach it to your two box or other detector with some velcro and the controls are right there at your fingertips. This is the ArcGeo Logger original. It will hold up to 20 grids. 20 by 20. Now 20 by 20 could be yards, feet, whatever size. This is the software that comes with it showing some targets within the plot. Um, these are some coins that someone had sent in. This is uh, Bob Burden walking out a plot in the snow. You can see his paths zigzagging back and forth with the logger and the two box and the septic tank there. And there's the image he got off of his septic tank using the uh, Argeo logger with a TM-808 two box detector. This is a metal mode of uh, using the TM-808. You can see a small red metal target in the right lower corner there and some green. This is the same plot using the cave mode on the TM-808. The bright orange spot is a previously dug hole you can plainly see. This is a foundation that was sent in by a user. You can see how the the brick on the line there, the foundation. This is the new Prologger. has a built-in GPS. Use the SD card for storage. You can store up to 200 sites and 200 um, plots within each site. This next plot was done with a Gem 2 EM system. $25,000 system. That's a septic tank. Right in front of it is a spot of water. That long orange and green is a shed. This was done with a TM-808 with the logger. You can see the septic tank plain as day. The water and even the dug part where it was, which is the drain field. This is the ground current generator, also known as uh, ground resistivity. This unit can be used with all of the loggers. It uses two probes. It's a two probe system, but it's unique in the way that inside the microprocessor, I'm actually taking a background reading of the um, soil, which is needed to be able to determine anything above and below. The background. This is the GCG unit here. It has power, charge, uses six volt internal battery, um, six position square type of um, probe setup if you want to use full probes to box in something. Uh, has a test button for testing, injects the current to the ground, and this is some of the plots that. Um, was done. This is a septic tank. Uh, on my site there's some other septic tanks that you can see. This, uh, Since you're using this with the ArcGeo logger, you can also use the software and this is that same plot showing how it looks inside of the uh, Arc ArcGeo Surveyor uh, software. Uh, I hope you come by and visit my site lrlman.com. You can email me at lrlman at yahoo.com. And thanks for coming by and uh, checking out this video. Hope to see you soon at the site. And uh, good luck finding that big treasure.